Well, crumb diddly yums, I'm doing a challenge. Of course, on Hearts of Iron 4. It's been a little while since I did a player requested challenge, but today we're doing one by Felix Lacoste. Play as Norway and defeaty the Axis powers. Game on. I am using Road to 56 today as it adds a unique focus tree to Norway, which should be quite fun to play through. Hopefully. So if you're happy to see challenges back, please do leave a like on the video, and if you've got a good idea for another challenge, make sure to let me know in the comments below, and if they, if you see good ones, I vote them. Cool. I got that out eventually. Uh, let's do historical and iron mode, just so I can't cheat, apparently, because I'm, <laughs> I'm such a cheater. Righto. Here we have the focus tree. I do like that we can encourage fishing. A nom nom nom. Develop lumber. Norsk hydro. But I think... Oh no. The first one we'll do today is... Eink og tro dild duvre fala. I think that's pretty good, right? That, so we have three research slots to start off with, which is... Well... You know, pretty pretty average, but that's, I guess that's what you'd expect from a minor nation. Only two military factories. I don't have much room for more. So our Grand Army consists of eight divisions, which are going to be led by Field Marshal Carl Gustav Felicia. However, only 30% have equipped instantly triggered. Oh, tell a lie. I have ten divisions. This might be tricky to defeat the German Reich, unless they just happen to pretty much declare war on everyone, which I'm hoping they do. Me? Rather than join the Allies, I'm going to create... Oh, I'm going to create my own faction. The Norway one. Well, I mean, the Baltic one, kind of. So we do have Hakon the Seventh as a popular figurehead, but we also have lasting policy of disarmament, which is a pain in the buttock. So we'll do Alt for Coggan. Everything for the king. But we are actually led by Johan Nygardsvold. I'm aware I trigger a lot of you with my pronunciations, and therefore I will continue to do them to the best of my ability. Which is terribly. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a win or a fail, but as long as the Soviet Union doesn't go to war with Finland, I think we're safe. In fact, I don't even need to have Finland in the faction. We could just try and get Norway and Denmark. I think we'll just go ahead and encourage fishing. Love all this stuff. Also, just to let you know, videos will probably be dropping down to once every other day, or three to four times a week pretty much have the lady friend visiting from canada in a week or two and we'll be doing some trips so i'm trying to bank a few videos ahead of time we've made it half a year and nothing's really happening that's pretty much how the game goes though isn't it and i believe it's time to develop the lumber industry we need as many factories as we can get as quickly as possible so that's what i'm going to do because gosh golly darn i'm competent at the game okay I think it's time to invest in Norsk Hydro. Well, I put historical AI focuses on, and the French went communist, so that's brilliant. Thanks, Fran. Johan does not look happy about that, does he? Construct more hydro plants, and we get three more civilian factories. Had almost a year, but my army still isn't exactly very well equipped, is it? This is going to take a long, long time. I do like that my infantry is called Dragon Regiment. I'm going to start encouraging recreational shooting, as it allows me to get an extra recruitable population percent. Nice. Well, with recreational shooting, we can actually get another 30,000 troops in the field, which is rather nice. Looks like the Nationalists are going to win the Civil War. No surprise there, really. No surprise there. Well, looks like Germany's going to have that ally of Italy. So at least something in the... Oh, oh yeah, they're already in. So we'll have to defeat Germany and Italy if we want to win this then. And it's time to have a motion of no confidence. So we can actually increase our construction of military factories. Pachow. And now we go on to the three brothers. So we'll try and get a faction together. And we'll see if they decide to join us. Oh yes, we shall intend the Stockholm Communique. So join together, we should have at least have some chance of staying alive. Staying alive. Hey, Sweden joins and so does Denmark. Together, we are one. Free brothers! And I'm going to do the Danish deal. So we can actually get calls on the Faroe, Iceland and Greenland. Do it. Oh, sorry, I'm joining the Axis. Okay. That's fine. We can deal with that. Hey, we actually recruited a division. 
Off you go, down to the border. And it's time to fund the rearmament. Good. Replace lasting policy of development with meagre defence, but... Well, I mean, that's better than nothing, isn't it? Meagre defence budget. Oh, and it does actually look like they accepted, so we actually control Norway now. Didn't get a pop-up, but thank you very much, Denmark. Thank you. And we shall now do initial armament investments. Well, I'm very surprised. It's almost 1939, and we've only got 18% world tension at the moment. Shocker. And so it begins. The Anschluss of Austria. Austria. When he's doing the anti combatant pack, Mr. Hitler. Oh my god, that's a lot of division. Oh, Stalin's only doing the Great Purge in 39. That's not good news. That's not good news at all. Oh dear. Oh, this isn't good at all. Tr well, go Trotsky returns. Well, this is going to definitely impede the Soviet's ability to defend itself from Germany. But I guess welcome back, Trotsky. Yay! Looks like Trotsky is going to win the Civil War. Time to do the Hyaman of Vernet, which establishes a battle group to take. We get extra recruitable population, which is what we need. Uh, for those asking why do I never show my division templates, I do edit them. Currently, this is what my infantry divisions are. Uh, I, I know they're probably not the best, but they're better than the basic divisions that you start with. So, yeah. Uh, and there's Czechoslovakia. I also forgot to mention uh, Bulgaria joined the Axis too. Oh boy. Ah, there we go. Soviet Union's complete. Oh gosh. Ah. Well, no. No, no. Protecting our sovereignty comes first. Okay, great. We now have 100, almost 100,000. New troops to recruit. Here we go. Aha. Oh, that's not really what we wanted. Ooh. Haven't seen that one before. Well, that's to be expected, isn't it? There we are. If France was at war, then I might have actually had a chance to push on in at this stage, but I definitely do not. Not at this stage. Might have to wait until they declare war on the Soviets. I wish I had more units. And the ability to build forts up here. That would have been very nice. Very nice indeed. Looks like the Netherlands is getting gobbled. Oh god, why couldn't France just be in the Allies? Why couldn't you join the effing Allies, you stupid, 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 stupid French communist? Well, the Netherlands have gone, so all of the Axis attention is going to go on to us now, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh no, come off it, really? Okay! Well, at least the French commune wants to send us five divisions, which I'll take. Immediately switching to extensive. Right, we hold fast at the river then. Until they turn their attention away from me, I think. Well, this is what Europe looks like at the minute, and it's mainly the Axis. Oh dear. Oh, the French communes joined the Allies. Well, thank giddy giddy aunt for that. Oh my god, Sweden's done a naval invasion. Huh. Well, what if we pushed? I don't think I particularly want to push out. But, you know, give it to them. Suck it to them. Suck it to the Germans. It's not going well. Let's just stop. Let's just stop, everyone. Let's just stop, boys. I am very glad we've managed to make Fortress Denmark. Ho oh, ho, they're taking- Oh, are they actually forcing the French back, though? Oh, god damn it, France. I would like to be able to send reinforcements to France to hold the line against Italy. <laughs> and now they declare war on Romania. However, they're surrounded, so I don't see that Romania's gonna last for very long, are they? Oh, they're sending tanks to me now, aren't they? Oh dear. Oh yes! Oh yes, thank you, Germany. That may have just solved all of our problems. So I'll keep trying for little pushes here and there, just to see if we can make a little bit of a breakthrough. Unlikely, but we need to actually be a useful part of the war, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, we advance. I can't quite believe it, but Belgium is on an absolute warpath. Oh, for pity's sake, would people stop joining the effing Axis, please? It's still a solid block. I've, I've sent four divisions to help the French because it appears they might need it. But that's all I can afford to send, really. I, I'm making slight progress here. I might actually be able to take Hamburg. Which, wouldn't that be a treat? But it looks like, yes, we can take Hamburg. Awesome. In fact, let's do a little bit of a general push, shall we? The good news is Sweden's, Sweden's got a foothold. Well, hey, look at that. It looks like Germany might be effed. And we're very close to taking Berlin. Oh my god. Giddy <laughs> let's, try, let's do it, let's take that in. Gonna try and walk to Vienna now. Doesn't appear that they have any units there. So we'll just go heading on in. We've actually inflicted almost half a million casualties. And they're about to capitulate, which is lovely. 
Looks like my little four divisions down in Norway are going to take Rome too, and Yugoslavia capitulated as well. It appears that it's over for the Axis in Europe. Right, well now that's all been gobbled up and changed, let's take a little look at the map. This is what it looks like in terms of factions. The Comintern is by far the largest, and Germany is independent once again. So is Italy. Huh. So I am going to call that challenge a win! So if you enjoyed Norway becoming, well, not becoming a big power, but just surviving and taking a little bit of Germany, leave a like and make sure to let me know what challenge you want me to do next. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day! Many thanks to Doombringer437, John, Travis, Sam, ISO Productions, Nicholas, James, Logan, Ultimate, Adam, Miss Lexicon, Blade, Mike, The Rebel Knight, The Danimal, 454, and Wyatt for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all of the other patrons too.